I am Angelus Demonis, and this is Wayfinder. The team at Digital Extreme and Wayfinder was gracious enough to let me try their recent closed beta and grant me permission to record some footage to share with you, the viewers. As a reminder to everyone, this is a beta build. The things I will present to you may be subject to change in its official release. On this video, I'll be showcasing some gameplay of the Wayfinder, Senja. Senja is of the War Master class, which leans very hard into a tank role. She comes off as your run-of-the-mill brawler. She will be punchy, and she will be showboaty. I mean, it's literally in her skill set. For my playthrough, I played her completely solo while leveling her up, and she served as an excellent breaker and great crowd control. She definitely felt defensive and durable, which lines up with some of her unique abilities, which I will go over a little later. I opted to use the default weapon given to me, the two-handed axe called Typhoon, to see how it felt. Initially, the Typhoon felt extremely slow. I had started my Wayfinder journey leveling Nis with dual daggers before I swapped to Senja, and this was almost the literal polar opposite. Personally, I do prefer a faster gameplay. However, over my time of leveling Senja up, I started to get sold with this weapon and its synergy with Senja's talents. A note about the core gameplay of Wayfinder, both the characters and the weapons have unique features with them. It would be possible for me to play Senja with the dual daggers or any other weapon you could get in the game, but as mentioned I kept it to whatever the game defaulted to me. Now let's get a preview of what Senja can do. A small reminder that this is a beta build, so things presented here could be subject to change. First, let's go over Senja's abilities. At level 1, you start with Gladiator Pummel. This ability has a hold mechanic, where the longer you hold it, the more damage you will do. This mechanic is called Showboat, and visually, you'll see Senja literally showboating and getting the crowd's favor. Which leads into Senja's passive ability called Crowd Favorite. You'll see at the bottom of the screen a purple bar that will increase the more you showboat. It's separated into four bars, and each bar filled increases your weapon power and ability power. During Senja's showboating, you will take reduced damage and cannot be staggered. Got all that? It seems a little complex at first, but I think gamers will slowly get used to it as part of their normal attack patterns. With Crowd's Favor and the gauge that increases when you use it, you may notice the last bar is a shorter gauge, which I interpreted as a design where you can maintain your bonus easier to full as you don't need to charge your showboat as long. I could be wrong, but that's how I tried to handle it. Next, at level 3, you get Gain Favor. This ability taunts nearby enemies to grab their attention, while also buffing yourself and your allies' weapon power and ability power. In solo play, the taunt is not really useful to you, but the fact it increases your crowd's favor gauge still makes the ability good to get off when you are able to in any situation. Next to level 6, you get Lightning Grasp. One of my favorite abilities, this will pull enemies towards you. In party play, this was a great tool to get enemies off your teammates. In solo play, pulling a group of enemies all spread out across the field to wipe them in one go was extremely satisfying. And the further you level Lightning Grasp, the more utility it has. Finally, at level 9, you get Grand Finale. Think of this ability like an ultimate type, limit break type, big damage button. Senja charges to smash an enemy, dealing massive damage to them and fully filling the crowd's favor. Massive damage is accurate. My only personal gripe is that this move does take quite a while to charge up, so I found myself getting to use this at most two times per solo instance. Though with an attack this strong, it makes sense you wouldn't be able to spam it. Next, let's go over her talents. I had already gone over crowd favorite earlier, 
So as mentioned, it is Senja's main mechanic that helps increase your damage while utilizing certain abilities like Gladiator Pommel and Gain Favor. Senja also has Art of War, which charges your weapon's abilities 15% faster and boosts the weapon power of you and your allies by 10%, up to 3 times to 30% when you use your weapon ability. An example of this is when I was using the weapon Typhoon. Anytime I use its weapon ability Shatter, not only will Shatter increase the damage the enemy will take by 10%, but you will also boost the damage of you and your allies by 10%, for a total of 40% additional damage. In solo play, this was great to eliminate tougher enemies between the high damage and break damage. This was even better in party play, boosting everyone's overall DPS. Lastly, Senja and Warmasters have Dodge Roll. This will boost your base stamina by 20 and help restore some resilience each time you roll which encourages you to mix in blocking and dodging during combat. Since we are using the two-handed axe Typhoon, it has its own set of special passives. The Executioner passive, which has a lot to go through, but in my opinion, playing to its strengths will for sure give you the proper edge in battle. The high damage to enemy health and resilience, or the break gauge, is definitely noticeable. I was pretty much relying on constantly breaking enemies and bosses as fast as possible, allowing me to continue to deal damage while not taking damage myself. This was the gameplay I got sold on even if the weapon seemed very slow to chain attacks together. And while the attacks are slower between strikes, to keep the combo going offers you great benefits. You will build more momentum and increase your damage. And, on top of that, you can create a crossover combo loop that keeps your attacks moving fairly fast. When I tried to play around with said crossover combo, I was able to pick it up doing 3 light attacks, 1 heavy attack, followed by 2 light attacks, and repeat. You can also start this combo by dashing, and starting with a light attack into a heavy attack. There was also some timing involved with maintaining and chaining it correctly. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty fun to get it to link non-stop. Of course, in the heat of battle, you may not be able to maintain the entire fight between avoiding damage and mechanics. With the two-handed weapons, you are still able to properly block damage similar to a sword and shield. It will convert damage into stamina. It's a good system of block and dodge, utilizing a Warmaster's dodge roll passive. Lastly, while blocking, if you initiate an attack, you will do a quick dash attack while mitigating damage. This was great in situations where if your stamina was fairly high and you wanted to push some damage out while blocking a lot of incoming mechanics. This wraps up all the skills and passives of Senja and the weapon Typhoon. To conclude this first look on Senja, I'll give my own thoughts on her gameplay during the beta test. It started the game as Nis with dual daggers, which was fast, assassin-like type gameplay. The moment I had access to Senja, I swapped out immediately and tried to level her up while figuring out how to play her. As mentioned earlier, swapping from a fast weapon to an extremely slow weapon was jarring, but seeing the damage output was satisfying and I quickly got used to it. I could absolutely see myself maining a character like this, because who can say no to big damage? The break damage Senja and the two-handed weapon provided was extremely potent, since it stopped enemies and especially bosses in their tracks, allowing you to stay alive while getting some serious damage in. Situations where you could come up to bosses and just devastate them was fun to do, assuming you gear yourself correctly. The showboat mechanic at first confused me. The damage from Gladiator Pummel itself was mediocre to me at best, and making the decision to just rip enemies apart spamming Shatter versus charging Gladiator Pummel was not a difficult one. However, you can charge your showboat gauge prior to battle, and helping your team kill things faster is always a good thing. Mixing in Gain Favor, or the Taunt, is a great ability in party runs on top of increasing your showboat, as well as the utility from Lightning Grasp which was fantastic to take enemies off your teammates, or line up a massive AoE kill on trash enemies. 
I hope you enjoyed this first look at Senja, the War Master, from my perspective. I do feel she may not fit the preference of everyone out there, but a game that revolves around the uniqueness of each character available, having big gameplay differences is something you want to see. What do you think? Share your thoughts and comments below, and if you have other questions about Senja or Wayfinder, I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, and consider hitting the subscribe button and checking me out live on twitch.tv slash angelusdemons.